one of the greatest welterweights in UFC history, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Some criticize maybe his risk mitigation late in that Leon Edwards fight, but this man is an offensive fighter. He's got every skill in the book, and uh, we'll see which ones he chooses to employ here tonight. It's crazy because when he came off the ultimate fight, he was known as a bit boring. But him and Trevor Whitman have such a great partnership that they have developed a style that works for tomorrow, and it works at such an elite level. He got caught. How does he bounce back? This guy, his jab is tremendous. He can knock you out with it. His wrestling in his top control is second to none. Kamaru Usman possesses all the skills in the world. How does he implement those skills tonight when he steps inside the octagon? And one thing you never have to worry about, the output, the work ethic, one of the hardest workers in the room in the UFC, and he is at the height of motivation getting back on the proven ground tonight. Gentlemen, with much fanfare, one of the best welterweight free agents in the world has arrived on the greatest proven ground in mixed martial arts. Enter Michael Venom Page. Realized a lot of success in other big shows, but most fighters eventually want to test themselves in the UFC. That was the goal for Michael Venom Page. Outstanding striker, a finisher, really in all realms of mixed martial arts. But there are a lot of interesting stylistic challenges for him in this UFC welterweight division. And the opposition tonight's going to be trying to take this man down. And Michael Bennett Page, with that infectious smile on full display, has finally arrived in the UFC. particulars we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening <laughs> Dean, our referee for this one. Great. Right, here we are at Honda Center in Anaheim, California. And every time I walk into this venue, I can't help but think back to UFC 157 in 2013. The night women were finally welcomed inside the octagon. And uh, good to be back here, obviously, in a venue that has a lot of history. A lot of history for sport, but the biggest night in women's mixed martial arts history. Ronda Rousey defending her title against Liz Armour. Oh, huge knee to the head. Now we're going. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Takedown defense holds up. Usman's bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher. Oh, Work 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, looking for the submission now. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, he's got it. Oh, and he gets it. He beat the knee by creating distance. Once you free your knee from the hips, you have a chance. This man was so good at staying calm in the face of adversity. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show us... Nice shots landing from the top position. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Good work getting in the way of that knee. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Right. Second round, straight ahead. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Usman's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. All right, big moment in that round, of course, the strike that caused the cut to the lip. Certainly, it's not shades of Robbie Lawler nor Alistair Overeem, but the cut does bear watching as we move forward. And it still hurts. I mean, it still hurts. Every, I mean, honestly, everything hurts in the octagon. And that shot looked like it hurt a ton. But what the story will be is that it opened up that cut on the lip. How does he avoid You're taking too much damage back Ready. to that spot? He's got to move his head off that center line as he's moving forward. And there's only so much a cut man can do to stop bleeding in the mouth area. So we will continue to monitor that cut as this fight presses forward. Nice one-two there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really strong. That's the biggest shot from the this How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Usman. All right, half guard position here, DC. All right, setting up for a finish here. Look at that. That's tight. Working hard to finish this heel hook. He has got to make sure that his knee does not beat his hips if he wants to get the finish. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. That's it! Nice submission! So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I gotta keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Michael! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And 
they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.